There is nothing in this world as personal as nurturing or as life-changing as the influence of a righteous woman. Thursday, April 8th. Tuesday, April 13th. April 19th, 2010. I really admire my mother. We have a great relationship. Today in seminary, we were talking about the 2000 Stripling Warriors. When we got to the part about not doubting because their mothers knew it, I immediately thought of my mom. The other day, I was really stressed out because of all the homework I had. I went to help my mom today with helping for Angela's play. I somehow got roped into doing hair, but so did she. She knew I was stressed and I had no time, so she made me my favorite garden vegetable salad with cheese on top. When I talk to her or tell her something, she listens to what I have to say. She tries to understand what I'm thinking and feeling instead of just assuming. Some things that I really admire about my mother is that she's a good nurturer. She's a smart, strong, wonderful woman, and I doubt not because she knows. She knows the truth and she loves the Lord. She loves me and Angela and everyone else around her and always seems to have time for us, even though she hates doing hair. She always helps me in numerous ways when I'm not feeling good and she never complains about it. I couldn't do it without her. Like, she has made me who I am. Because of her strength, I have an amazing role model and know what kind of mother I want to be. Throughout the history of the world, women have always been teachers of moral values. Popular culture today often makes women look silly. It objectifies them and disrespects them, and then suggests that they are able to leave their mark on mankind only by seduction. And so, my dear young women, with all my heart, please look to your faithful mothers for a pattern to follow. Model yourselves after them, not after celebrities whose standards are not the Lord's standards and whose values may not reflect eternal perspective. Qualities that my mom has right now that I want to have when I'm a mother is just being kind and patient and always listening and always being there. I want to be able to serve like my mom because my mom is so selfless. Like she always thinks of others, like she rarely thinks of herself. Like, and that's how she's happy is that she'll serve others. She likes to um, pull pranks at young ones' camps. <laughs> and she likes to make people laugh. And she's one of those personalities that you just you like to be around. When she has a question about something, she studies to figure it out. She'll study different things. If it's a question about the gospel, she'll study the scriptures or words of the prophets to find her answer. She doesn't just leave it. I like that. And I just hope that I can be more like her because I know that if I become more like her, I'll become more like Christ. Things that I've learned about my mom that I would want to try and learn when I, and use when I have a family would definitely be to make time for people and just be calm and be able to bring a nice spirit into my home. Love your mother, my young sisters. Respect her. Listen to her. Trust her. She has your best interests at heart. She cares about your eternal safety and happiness. I love my mom because she loves me. She's kind and she's patient, and when I come to her with problems, she doesn't think they're silly. She just helps me and comforts me. I love my mom because she's so easy to love and so happy all the time. My mother will support me in everything I do, like all my interests, even if they don't interest her, she'll support it and she'll try to find out about it and she'll be excited about what I'm excited about. I love my mom a lot. She's a wonderful mother. I'm so glad I have her. No other person on earth loves you in the same way or is willing to sacrifice as much to encourage you and to help you find happiness in this life and forever. And so, my dear young women, with all my heart, please look to your faithful mothers.